everyone, Rowan here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the couples that I'm like shipping the most right now, which just as a disclaimer, this doesn't mean like of all time. Like I'm not going to include like my Harry Potter ships because I haven't read Harry Potter recently and wow, it will forever hold a place in my heart and I will forever ship the characters I do. Just not right now. So first of all, to start, I just read Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I read the three books that are out right now and I like this series because I am constantly like changing who I'm shipping with who. And as of right now, this is potentially a slight spoiler if you haven't read the third book, Cleo and Magnus end up encountering each other at some point and I'm totally shipping them together. Like, hardcore. I feel like a weirdo because I don't know if that's even like a thing, but I really, really, really want them to end up together. Like, big time. So for the next one, I've really been into Outlander lately. I read Outlander a few months ago and I watched the show. So right now, all my feels are going towards Claire and Jamie. I really love them to death. I mean, this book, in this book alone, I haven't even started the second one yet, their relationship is just so amazing and sad and wonderful and, oh, God. I'm not normally, like, a big romance person. Like, I love shipping, like, hardcore, but I'm not really, like, a romance person. In this book, a majority of it is romance and, oh, God, it just got to me. It got to me so much. So, I am all, like, full steam ahead. Jamie and Claire need to start having babies and stuff because I love them. Okay, so for the next two, I couldn't decide in the series which couple I shipped the most, but I narrowed it down to two. So I have Scarlet and Wolf from Scarlet and Cress and Captain Thorn from Cress. It's not that I don't ship Cinder and Prince What's-His-Doodle, <laughs> Prince Kai, sorry, Prince What's-His-Doodle, um, but I definitely don't ship them as hard as these two. But when it comes to, like, between these two, I don't know which one I ship more. I love Captain Thorn more than Wolf, but I like, I think, Scarlet more than Cress. And when it comes to the couples, I don't know. I almost want to say Captain Thorn and Cress just because I love Captain Thorn so much, but I like kind of their story more with Scarlet. So I don't know. I'm really torn between these two, so I did them both. And of course, one of my favorite couples of all time are Kate and Curran from Kate Daniels series. I love them so much. I constantly have feels for them. Like, they just are so funny and hilarious and steamy and wonderful and the chemistry between the two is not, it's just, ugh. I love them so much in this book series. It's not even funny. <laughs> Another couple that I'm constantly, always, forever going to ship are Percy and Annabeth from the Percy Jackson series. When we get the new characters in the Heroes of Olympus series, there's a lot of, like, coupling going on, but <sighs> Percy and Annabeth will forever be my, like, main couple to ship. I love them. And I hate that I love them because I, <sighs> I love Percy so much and he's, like, my fictional BF to the max. I don't know. They hurt my heart to think about. I don't want to get, like, spoilery, but in the Heroes of Olympus series, at the end of The Mark of Athena, I think it is, this thing happens, and my heart just can't even handle it. Like, if I think about it, I get really, like, misty-eyed over here. So anyways, I love them. Best couple ever, maybe, kind of. I can't say that. I can't commit to there being a best couple ever, but they're definitely on the top of the list. Okay, so this probably won't end up being, like, one of the main ships that I ship or anything like that, but because I've been reading these books recently, it is, like, hurting my heart right now. So, that is Evie and Death, actually, and I know that not a lot of people ship her with Death. Like, I feel like everybody wants her to be with Jack, and I don't know. I am not, like, a huge fan of Jack. It's not that I don't like him. The Cajun accent right off the bat was a little hard for me to take. But then when Death came into the story, not to spoil anything, but I just couldn't resist. I like my men all broody and evil, kind of, after I just talked about how much I love Percy, who's like the nicest person of all time. I don't know. I just, I ship them, and I really hate where this story is going in terms of relationships. Again, not to spoil anything, but 
This book series has been like the source of all my frustration in this past month. It's driving me crazy. Another couple that I had to include just because I've been thinking about this book series a lot lately and the final book in this trilogy is coming out this summer I think so sometime soon so I've been like nervously fretting over it and that is Layla and Roth from White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. These books are totally guilty pleasure reads like I'm not ashamed to admit it. I mean I basically read these books for like kick-ass action scenes and swoony romance. <laughs> However, I really, 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 really ship Roth and Layla together and I don't know. I legitimately do not know in the third book who she's going to end up with because there's this other guy, I don't even want to talk about him, he's stupid and nobody likes him, but I'm kind of nervous that they're going to end up together. I feel like Jennifer L. Armentrout wouldn't do that to us. I feel like she's set this series up so Layla and Roth will end up together but I'm just nervous enough that I I think about it and I get kind of that bad feeling in the pit of my stomach like what I'm gonna do if they don't end up together and that's when fan fiction comes in you guys that is when I'm depressed and I turn to horrible horrible badly written fan fiction to like soothe the ache of my soul okay so the next couple I ship so hard and this series is ending this year the last book and I am so sad and that couple is Blue and Gansey from the Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Now if you don't know much about this book series one of the main plot things is that this girl named Blue has been told all of her life by like psychics who are in her family that if she kisses her true love he will die. So that kind of really sucks and through the course of this series not to spoil anything, but I personally really, really ship her and Gansey together. I love both of them to death. I mean, I love every single character in this book. That's horrible, but Maggie Steve Otter did such a great job with the boys in this book, and Blue, and it's all so good. But I really, really want her and Gansey to end up together. I'm just really nervous as to how that's going to happen. So I'm trying to think of like a loophole here, but I. I don't know. I I don't know. This book feels kind of hopeless actually, but I will forever ship them together. Now the last couple I ship is like the couple I'm shipping probably hardest right now. And I know all of you that know anything about me have been waiting for this book this whole video and you know how I feel about this couple. <laughs> Selena and Kale. Oh Kale. I love him and I love her. And I love them together and I can't really say stuff for those of you stinky people that are watching this video that haven't read the series or you haven't read the third book or whatever. I can't ruin stuff but if they don't end up together, which I genuinely don't know if they are, this series makes me nervous because I honestly have no idea where it's going. Like I don't know, I don't know anything about it. There's no like safety like when you read these books because anything could happen. Anyway, so if they do not end up together, which is definitely a possibility, I might cry. I have faith in Sarah J Moss that if she has Selena end up with a guy that she's gonna do it well and I'll probably end up shipping them more than Selena and Kale, but right now it's like I don't have room in my heart to consider other possibilities for her because I love them together so much. Alright you guys, so there are all the couples that I'm major shipping right now. That was probably more than I should have done, but I ship really hard and I could not narrow it down. So please comment below and let me know if you ship any of those couples or different couples in those books or who your major ships are or whatever. I don't even know if I'm like using the word ship correctly in sentences. Who your major ships are. I don't know if that's right. Who you majorly ship, maybe. I don't know. It's just a word. I'm just gonna use it however I want. Ha <laughs> ha. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.